Three double cheeseburgers, three large fries, one special salad and three Diet Cokes. And would you like a dessert with that? Um... You get a free dessert because you spent over £10, is it? Actually, I think that's fine. Thank you. Have you got everything from your server that you asked for? Sorry, everything that I... Asked for? Is it that you've got everything from your server that you asked for? Um, well, yeah, thank you. But is this the best that you've ever been served in a burger bar? Sorry? Is it that, that I'm the best server you have ever seen in a burger bar? Well, you're certainly very efficient. Employee of the month, though. Well, that's uh, a great achievement. Uh, I'm going to go now. Are you employee of the month, though? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. So you've never been employee of the month, then? I'm afraid my firm of lawyers don't have employee of the month. Well, shut up, then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? What? You work in a burger bar. No, I don't. That is well bad. I don't work here, though. But you're standing behind the counter. Yeah, well, I've got bored waiting for my order. <laughs> so why are you in that uniform? Right, it's only a uniform. Well, why are you wearing it, then? I ain't wearing it. But it says your name on it. That ain't my name. It says Lauren. No, it don't. Welcome to Billy's Burger Bar. My name is Lauren. Are you laughing at me? Yeah, man. Right, do you think it's funny? Yeah, it's well funny. Do you wash cars for a living? What? Do you wash cars for three fifty an hour? Shut up. Are your best mates at work all from Poland? <laughs> you are employee of the month, though. No, I ain't, though. But that is your photograph, mate. Uh, no, it ain't, though. That is well bad. You are going to sell burgers for the rest of your life. Are you saying I'm fat? No, I'm just saying... Are you saying I should be American? No, I'm not. I'm Am I a saying... big fat yank, though? No, you're not. Are you, you calling my mum a lard ass? No, I'm not. Are you saying I need a crane to get my dad out of bed? <laughs> Are you saying I've got dinner lady arms? <laughs> Lauren, it's one o'clock. Lauren, it's Billy Burger Hour. Come on. <laughs> Burger mask. That is sick. <laughs> Am I bothered? Am I bothered though? No, I ain't even bothered. By you. I ain't even bothered though. Yeah, look at my face. But... Look at my face. Look at my face. Yeah. Look at my face. Yeah. Does it look bothered? No, it looks like Billy Burger. <laughs> Call me Billy Burger. But you are Billy Burger. No, I ain't Billy Burger. But that is Billy Burger. That ain't Billy Burger. It is though. It ain't though. It is though. It ain't Billy Burger. <laughs> you do look like him though. <laughs> right, face, bothered. Look, no, face, listen, bothered. Am I bothered though? I ain't even bothered. Look at my face. Look at no, my face. Listen, Billy Burger, I'm face. Not, look, listen, I ain't even bothered. No, Polish, what? car wash. <laughs> no, I <don't. laughs> I ain't bothered. <laughs> Can I have a double cheeseburger, please? Do you want fries with that? <laughs> now, remember what Daddy told you about Sports Day? That the taking, taking part is everything. To, to win with dignity and to lose, lose with pride in the knowledge that you did your absolute best. And remember, whatever happens here today, Mummy and Daddy are immensely proud of you. Thank you, Mummy. OK, darlings, now. It's nearly time. In perpetua vincere. In perpetua vincere. <laughs> In lane one, Chloe Taylor Thomas. In lane two, Thomas Taylor Thomas. <laughs> Imogen Fitzroy Ferguson. In lane four, Fergus Fitzroy Ferguson. <laughs> In lane five, Amelia Harvey Henry. <laughs> and in lane six, Henry Harvey Henry. <laughs> On your marks. Get set. <laughs> Go! No! It's the eggs! They're not organic! <laughs> I 
her and don't think I don't know about her Tommy's extended sick leave either. Repetitive strain injury by eye as the drink says problem. So it is and don't think we don't know it. So it is. She says to me, don't you dare talk about my Tommy like that. I said to her, I'll talk about your Tommy however I like. So help me God, the lazy, good-for-nothing, low-life, skiving drunk. Isn't that the truth? And then she had the audacity to call me a liar. Mommy. Did you get any work today, son? I uh, picked up a bit of hard carrying down at the quarry. Good man. Me? A liar? I said to her, who do you think you are? Hurling insults around like that? Mommy. I've done you bacon and potatoes for your tea. I said her there's only one lie around here and that's you and that's no lie. You told her then? Indeed I did. Mummy, I need to speak to you. Have you been fighting with the McVeigh brothers again, Johnny? Have you? No, it's not that. Have you been joyriding around this estate? Because if you have, you're failing not to touch the ground. No, Mummy. Have you got Mary McCarthy's daughter in the trouble? Mummy, please, if you just listen. Well, would you spit it out, son? What's the matter with you? I'm gay. I'm a gay man. You're a what? I'm a gay man now, Mummy. Are you sure? Aye. Great. I have a new pencil skirt upstairs. Come on and see if I've got the hips for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, God. Is that you, darling? Yeah. Did they get off all right? All packed up and ready to go. Oh, I will miss them. That's the last of them now, isn't it? Poor Lena died last year. Don't see old Kate since she went to live with her daughter and now they've carted poor Tommy and Dolly off to the nut house. <laughs> now, it's not a nut house, it's sheltered accommodation. Call it what you like, love. They'll still be splashing about in their own piddle come tea time. <laughs> well, at least they've not split them up. Oh, you can't split up twins, darling. <laughs> Tommy and Dolly Musto lived together for 60 odd years. Uh -huh. Are they inseparable? No, they ain't Siamese. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is dreadful, that though, isn't it, eh? I mean, when they're joined at the hip, they got half a chance, but when it's one great walloping head and two bodies hanging <laughs> off it, you don't know where to look. All right, Nan. No, no, I see a programme about it on the telly. American pair, they are. One of them rolls about on a trolley, the other one's a country and western singer. <laughs> I mean, fair's fair, I'm all for the Special Olympics, but I ain't got to make fucking records, have you? <laughs> Nan, I didn't mean that. I meant, are they close? They're stuck together at the end. How close to one of them? I meant Dolly and Tommy. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're devoted to each other, darling. They never lived more than ten minutes apart, even when they were married. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have had some laughs over the years, though, I know that much. During the war, we was all evacuated together down to Wiltshire. We ended up in a lovely old farmhouse with a big dungy pat the back. Oh, she was a beast, though, the woman who looked after us. She made us leave our shoes at the door. I'll never forget the first letter Dolly and Tommy wrote home. It said, Mother, get us on the first train out of here. She won't let us wear shoes in the house and there's a big pile of shit in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was one I didn't want. <laughs> Man. Oh, well, tell our Tom. Tell our daughter. That's the end of an era, that is. Oh, I'm all on my own now, I don't know. Oh, no, I nearly forgot. They asked me to give you this. Who is it? A little present. Oh, they didn't have to do that. Oh, and that kind of them. Oh, I weren't expecting that. Oh, that's choked me up, that is. Oh. Well, look at that, eh? That's cost a few quid, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> 
a wooden squirrel. It's a wooden fucking squirrel. <laughs> Seventy years I've known them and they got a lump of wood and made a squirrel out of it. <laughs> what a fucking liberty. <laughs> Look, there's an inscription. <clears throat> Some people come into our lives and go quickly. Others stay a while, leave their footprints on our heart, and we are never, ever the same. Oh, they want shooting, they really do. <laughs> Man, Dolly and Tommy don't have much, but they still wanted to buy you this. It might not be a lot, but it's a token of their gratitude for all the years of friendship and good times you had together. It's a fucking squirrel! <laughs> Mastos! <laughs> yeah, both of ya! Take your friendship, take your good times, take your fucking squirrel, <laughs> shove it up your twin arses! <laughs> All these shoes are tight. <laughs> It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, look, I'll speak to you Monday. Okay, bye. Damn, that is so annoying. What's that? Well, I'm supposed to be playing tennis tomorrow. My usual partner's just let me down. I've got a big tournament next week and I need someone really good to practice with. I can do that. Really? You play? Yeah. You're free tomorrow? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Let's just have a quick knock-up. Yeah, just a minute. Play. <laughs> Play on. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's the matter with me today. I shouldn't have eaten all that mashed potato. <laughs> you playing with? Tennis. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Out. Have you ever played tennis before? Yeah, all the time. Come on, do one of those lobs and I'll do under the leg thing. Good, you know that, you're really good. Thanks. Can I have a go at firing one now? <laughs> oh, you can't miss it from there. Way. John. 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 Aye. He's nice, isn't he, John? <laughs> Go on. I'll come. I'll come off. Are you blind or what? John. <laughs> John. Oh, he is nice. Do you like him, John? That's enough, Mary. Do you hear about our John Kieran? He's a game man now. Aye, I know. Fifteen million he's worth. Aye, right. John, would you look at the buns on him? <laughs> I would. Would you give over? Just because I'm gay doesn't mean I think about sex all the time. Now, would you calm down and let us watch the match? Ah, but John... I bet he's got a really nice cock. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a beautiful morning! Beautiful day. 
I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. <laughs> Good morning, Martin. Good morning, Georgie. How was your weekend? Oh, it was lovely. Uh, Michaela had her school play. How did she do? Cos I was worried about her, what with her being remedial and borderline dyslexic. <laughs> she, she was great, and she looked so cute in a little fairy costume. I couldn't be happier for you. Can I borrow your nice red biro? Yeah, sure. I'll tell you what it is. Me and some of the other girls down at the Union of Catholic Mothers are doing a little fundraiser. Oh, uh, another one. <laughs> I'm doing a fun run, dressed as a bottle of Cinzano. <laughs> for all the little battered husbands of Gateshead. Battered husbands? Is that a serious problem in Gateshead? Did you know that every 38 minutes, some poor little fella, who when his wife calls his name, cowers in a corner and shits his pants? Wow. Uh... I didn't know that. If you don't believe me, log on to the website www.chinnedbythemisses.com. <laughs> no, I, I, I do believe you. Uh, how far are you running? 42 miles. <laughs> 42 miles? It's not far, pet. Not when you think of all those poor little chaps whose only thanks for clearing away the breakfast dishes is a bottle in the face. <laughs> How much shall I put you down for? Oh, oh uh, God, yeah. Um, well, uh, put me down for 10p a mile. 10p a mile. £4.20. <laughs> to look an eight foot fiberglass bottle of Cinzano. 42 miles. <laughs> For all those poor wee lads who can stand up to their missus cos they know in their heart they're as soft as shite. Right, yeah, I uh, see what you mean. Um, uh, well, uh, 20 pence, then. £8.40. It, it's just that, um... No, £8.40 it is, it, pet. It's all I can afford. Let's say no more about it cos I wouldn't want it to come between us. Now you know what it feels like. <laughs> oh, I said, Jim, don't think we don't know what you've been saying bars behind our backs either. All right. Well, Rosemary. Well, Kathleen. Will you be marching with us on Sunday, Rosemary? Aye, we'll show the bastards. How's your Martin? Fine. He'll be out soon, no doubt. Fifteen years? Aye, well... He's a hard man, but he's a principled man. Aye, he is that. Did you hear about our John? He's a gay man now. <laughs> is that so? Pop round later, John. We've just had new tongue and groove in our bathroom. You will die. <laughs> Mind if I join you? No, of course not. <laughs> you finally got out of your meeting then? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't believe this. What's wrong? Oh, one of our curling teams just dropped out of tonight's match. Oh, no, it's a really important game as well. I can do that. <laughs> You're a curler? Yeah. My friends are quite good. <laughs> Great. OK, I'm only going to play enough weight just to tap the back to the 12 foot. Two eight be enough weight, do you think? Yeah. Mm. Yep. Well. Well. Uh, 
Is it true your John's a gay man now? Aye. What of it? Right. Do these turnips work with these boots? <laughs> so, who are you visiting today? Teddy Morris, isn't it? I've told you about him a thousand times. What a character. Oh, we have had some laughs over the years. He'd have us in stitches. What a mimic. He could take anyone off. It was like they were sitting in the room next year. His chairman Mao was uncanny. <laughs> he could have turned professional, you know, but of course he didn't need to. He was one of the finest paedophiles in London. <laughs> what? Oh, what he didn't know about feet was no one's business. <laughs> You're right, darling. Yeah. I've come up and see you, don't yeah. I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, God, then, now. Yeah. Oh, here he goes. Oh, God. Oh. Go and have a pony. Oh, that's yeah. it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he don't care. He just don't care. He's an absolute classic. Here he is. Oh. <laughs> oh, come and say, come here, love. Go and help us all. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Here, Ted. Oh. My grandson, Jamie, go and show him your chairman, Mal. <laughs> Wait till you see this. Let's <laughs> spark out. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, never mind. Let's come back to my poor son's exhausted. Here, give him the present. And I won't wait you, Ted, but I'll leave the present there, sweetheart. I'll see you soon. God bless, sweetheart. Excuse me, darling. Uh, Mr Morris has fallen asleep, but we left a lovely present there for him. Would you make sure he gets it? Of course. Much obliged, you, sweetheart. Lazy man. <laughs> nurse. Nurse. Uh, do you know where my visitors went? Well, you mm. fell asleep, Mr. Morris, so they've gone home. Oh. But they've left you a present. Oh, really? Oh, present. Oh. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Some people come into our lives and go quickly. Others stay a while leave their footprints on our heart, and we are never, ever the same. What a fucking liberty. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. Are you all right? No, I'm having a bit of a nightmare, Ashley. What's the matter? Well, I've had all the international CEOs from around the world in this room. In ten minutes, the annual summit's supposed to take place. They've flown thousands of miles to get here, and my translator hasn't turned up. <laughs> I need to find someone who can translate into seven different languages. Well, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I did a TEFL in my gap year. <sighs> Welcome back to London, ladies and gentlemen. This is Helen Marsh, who will be our interpreter today. So, without further ado, Let's address section 1.1, .1, multinational profiteering for the financial year 2005-2006. Helen. Hurdy gurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy gurdy gurdy. Gurdy. Bud, bud, bud. <laughs> mm. 
Ne. La nonna era la manice e la la no, ma no. Sai eh, cosa ti dici, vado a dici. Io. This is not my sandwich. <laughs> 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 